everyone, Tina Gell here, and welcome back to the second starting point of my series with Chanel's Perfect Collection. And so if you haven't watched the rest of them, be sure to back up and watch the intro explaining about the class and how this all started. So this is the foundation page, or another one, the second one that I've created. And I'm just taking some Heidi Swap Color Shine and sprinkling onto the back of it. Um, I'm going to have three full-size photos going down this page and then a small one to the other side. So this page is going to be really full with photos. So there's not going to be a whole lot of embellishing and a lot of layering that I can do. So I wanted to get some of that created by just the sprinkles. So I'm putting a lot more than what I normally do. So I have gold and then I have a peachy coral and I believe it's called blush. I'm not sure. Um, and then I wanted another little strip over here to the side. I have these two wider strips going down and then the two smaller ones going horizontal. And so this was some washi tape that um, I had gotten. I think somebody sent it to me or something. And it's a gray kind of doily edge. And so I thought that would match in well and it would just give me a little bit more color. Um, just a little bit more going on because I'm going to cover most of that center strip up with these photos. So here's my three photos and they're of my daughter back when she was in high school doing a debate competition and so you know they're not the greatest photos they were just snapped really quick um, but I wanted to document this and the story that was told uh, the story to be told that day. So I have these three that were taken before the debate and then while they were debating and then afterwards with some other classmates that they had finished their debate. And then I have this small one here that I just, I trimmed down really uh, small so that it would fit in because that was really the only other photo that I had. So now I'm ready to kind of embellish. And like I said, there's not going to be a lot because there's not a lot of room left. But I did have these stickers from the My Minds collection, and, and that's from The Sweetest Thing, which is what the paper line is. Um, I go through all of the paper selections in the intro video if you missed that. So I have this one, this yellow banner, and it says there's always a reason to smile. And then from the Chamel cork stickers, there was a light bulb. And when I saw that, I kept thinking, where in the world am I going to use a light bulb on a layout? But it was perfect for this one for a debate competition. And so I kind of stuck that up there on the top. And then my title is kind of two different ones. I have the letter stickers from Crepe Paper, the craft market that's on this burlap. And so I just put classical debate down there. And then the cork stickers from the We Are Memory Keepers, um, Hello Darling collection, it says the details. So I'm kind of using that as a subtitle as well, and I put that underneath or on top of a doily sticker off to the right-hand side. So that's going to set up my triangular embellishment clusters. And then there's another little word sticker here, and I'm going to put, I think, one more. Yep, one more right there. And that's going to be all of the stickers and things. The rest of it, I pulled out some brads, and that's going to finish off those little clusters and so I have brads from two different collections. One is this My Mind's Eye Lost and Found and I'm going to use one that has uh, the backing circle and stuff so that it's a little bit bigger. I'm going to put that up underneath my title and then the rest of them are just going to be small little round ones and I'm trying to think. The other brad I believe it's My Mind's Eye and I think it's from the Cut and Paste collection was the the other brads and I'm just looking for the colors the pink and the yellow just to kind of repeat because like the top embellishment there's no pink up there at all so I knew I wanted to tie in a pink embellishment up there and there's no pink in the right hand side well actually I don't guess there's any pink in any of the embellishments it's just to the paper so I'm putting pink in all of them and then I add yellow to the bottom too because the bottom didn't have any yellow and then I had the doily up at the top so that's going to finish that off. I'm going to have a date stamp and just stamp it right above the title, the classical debate. And my journaling is going to go at the bottom left in that open space. And I really didn't leave a lot of room for journaling. I probably should have left a little bit more. I might have to go back and add some onto the back because um, I had a little bit more 
that I wanted to say, but it was basically, um, uh, my daughter's very shy, so debate and speaking, public speaking and all that is just not her thing, but she is awesome, or she was, when she was in school doing debate, something just came over her, and they had a strong argument and all of that, and they really had the better facts, but the other team was much more savvy in um, making their false information seem true, and so they had ended up winning the debate which caused a debate afterwards of, you know, it wasn't fair because their facts weren't true and all of that. So um, it was a whole other learning experience after the debate was over. So that was what the journaling was all about and why I put there's always a reason to smile on that banner piece up above. And so that's going to finish this layout off. I hope you've enjoyed so far the layouts that I've shared using Chamel's Perfect Collection class. Um, be sure to check it out if this is something that you're interested in and would like to learn how to take a collection, cut it all up, make all of your base pages, and then just go back and add your photos and journaling. I've really enjoyed this a lot more than what I thought. It was very intimidating at the beginning, but I'm really having a lot of fun doing it. So I would recommend the class highly. And then I'm going to have some still shots right here for you to check out. And I will be back next week for the third starting point layout that I'll be doing. So thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe.